As many communities and liberal political leaders move on from highly unpopular defund the police movement, it seems that some are still holding on, now trying to call it something else. Missouri Democrat Congresswoman Cori Bush, a member of the so-called squad, is one of them. She's holding steadfast to her support of the movement and says it's really just a matter of semantics. Bush was on Good Morning America where she told George Stephanopoulos the problem wasn't so much the movement as the word defund itself. The thing about defund the police is we have to tell the entire narrative. People hear defund the police, but you know what they'll say? Say reallocate, say divest, say move, uh, but it's still the same thing. We can't get caught up on the words. We, people spend more time focusing on the word defund than they spend on caring and addressing the problem of police violence in this country. So let's unpack this. First, let's be clear. The defund the police movement talked about defunding police. USA Today put it this way, the movement to defund the police is quite simple. It means taking funding away from police forces across the country. The larger push to defund the police is about more than taking money away. It's about a push to reallocate those funds into social programs. It's always been about taking money away from poli police, defunding and reallocating it elsewhere. And it makes no sense and never did. For Bush, the message was part of her platform as a first-term congresswoman, born out of the police shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri back in 2014, which turned out to have been completely justified. She's asking that we not get caught up with the word defund. So let's use the words she suggests, like reallocate, divest, remove. She's right. Change the words, and it is the same thing. It's just as dangerous as it was, and people like her are the reason Democrats are going to have a problem in the midterms next month. Just in 2021, there were only 15 days where the police did not kill someone. That's a lot of people affected that could use mental health services. That's the real point. She wants to insult all the police officers who risk their lives every day. Suspects who were shot and killed were all having mental health breakdowns. Look, mistakes are made. Police have been charged when it's more than a mistake. But the overwhelming number of cases involve criminals who had a gun and or were threatening police. That's not the police killing someone. That's the police doing their very difficult jobs. These days, the Democratic Party is distancing itself from this as voters prepare to head to the ballot box. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says defund the police is not the policy of the Democratic Party. But it's clear that no matter what you call it, more than a few in the Democratic Party still buy into this defund or reallocate or divest nonsense. Joining me now is Jeff Halstead, former Fort Worth police chief and current law enforcement consultant. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right. You know, we intentionally didn't want to have on a political person. We wanted to have on a law enforcement person because I think that's the critical piece here. What do you make of her comments that in 2021 there were only 15 days where the police did not kill someone? You know, we get really frustrated with these type of comments because it's not like we have police officers driving around trying to find a deadly force encounter. They are responding to the highest priority calls for service where someone is armed with a deadly weapon, someone attacks them, trying to attack them, trying to stab them, shoot them, and then they have to use deadly force. So the question would be, what are we doing to train our citizens so that they do not try to use deadly force against police? Because officers do not want to use deadly force today because some of them are getting indicted for doing exactly how they were trained to do their job. Look, what do you make of changing the name from defund to reallocate or divest? Yeah, the mission's still the same. You know, I talked to many community activists and community leaders that work closely with police departments. They want more police in their neighborhoods because violent crime is rising across the U.S. They want more officers on patrol, and they want more community support for a profession that has been absolutely just battled in the last two years. So they're wanting the opposite. Yeah, and, and, and Democrats are suffering uh, because of that. It's become a big issue in a lot of these campaigns. I guess what surprises me, and I'm sort of asking you to be a little bit political here, but you know, considering the political pushback, I guess I'm surprised to see even someone like Cori Bush still deciding to do a big morning show interview where she's advocating for this. I can only think that it's mainly appealing to her constituents because that's not the sentiment across yeah. the U.S. what I see. 
Jeff Halstead, hey, thanks a lot for coming back My on the program. Pleasure, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.